Another bald and bonkers series, can you imagine it? Look at it, and I've even polished my head because it's got to be shiny about for years, you know. We are joined tonight, <laughs> we are joined tonight, guys, by Iron City Paranormal again on one of their investigations. And may I say, before we started this live, there was a lot of stuff happening in this, this shop that the guys are in, and I can feel something, which I'll talk about shortly, but. Guys, would you like to introduce yourselves and tell us a wee bit about it? Yeah, how's it going, guys? Uh, we've met before, but for those who have not, uh, I am Daniel. This is uh, Derek over here. Uh, we are from Iron City Paranormal, based out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, in the USA. Uh, the mm-hmm. gentleman sitting between us is actually the owner and uh, tattoo one of the tattoo artists here at After Hours Tattoos. Uh, yep. We were... Uh, he was kind enough to invite us out here to, for an investigation this evening. So uh, it's something we were looking forward to for quite some time. Uh, so yeah. we are, this is John, his name is John. Uh, like I said, yeah. after hours, tattoos in Mars, Pennsylvania. Uh, nice to be with you guys. Yeah. Hey, good day, so, so Dakota obviously has got some stuff that is going to be shared that you've shared with Dakota. So we've only got like an hour. So... First of all, why don't you tell us a wee bit about the history of the location you're in, and then we'll jump on to the stuff that uh, Dakota's got. That's all you. So Derek's our, regi- our uh, historian here. <laughs> Go, Derek. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll hand it off to him. Yeah, he's, our, he's our go-to on this. So Derek. Well, so for uh, for the location that we're at now, John actually might be a better, a little bit better uh, John? first John, on it. Because um, a lot of the history has kind of been covered up and, you know, overshadowed by some of its some of its own history. So I guess I, I could start with the location is yeah. in Mars, Pennsylvania. It's about an hour outside of Pittsburgh, um, which is one of our bigger cities. Mm-hmm. Uh, this town was created back in the 1800s, and uh, almost kind of like an old western town for a while. Uh, the buildings... Yeah still remain the same. Some of them have been refaced over the years. A lot of the, a lot of the original like foundations yeah. and everything were built and then rebuilt. And yeah. Mm-hmm. They're, uh, mm-hmm. They've been all uh, kind of, you know, it's, it's your typical dirt floor basement with rock. Yeah. But uh, there's a lot of, lot of unique history. Yeah, I bet it is. I mean, I bet they built the old... Well, I can, well, obviously I'm from the United Kingdom, probably can tell that I'm, I'm Scottish. We don't have basements over here because everything's that old. I mean, it's, the house I'm in is about 100 years old. But anyway, the, I mean, the building itself, you, it was about in the kind of cowboy era, era so that would be the 1800s onwards. So there, there would be, well, death in the streets and stuff like that because there was the cowboys and stuff, you know, they were shooting each other. Yeah. There um, has been. The back. <laughs> there has been some different history that has happened out in the streets and different things. Um, yeah. There has been a few deaths in this place. Yes. Um, yeah, that, that's why I say it because I can. I, before we went live, guys, I could feel things, and I was quite accurate with certain things that I say. You were extremely I, accurate on our earlier <laughs> conversation. <laughs> it was. It was, it was something I've told you. Yet, but I'll tell you after this. Yeah. Out with the door. It's, it's yeah. Out there. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty damn accurate. Yeah, yeah. 
there's other stuff that but I'll tell you about after the show that I've just learned. But Dakota, would you like to ask some questions before we get into the the crazy videos and stuff? Oh, before the press is there. I don't know what just happened. There was a scream, and all of a sudden, my connection just cut out. Yeah. So, uh, okay. There's definitely not anything with you, so we're safe. Right? <laughs> uh, so, no, uh, with you, whatever's, whatever's with you is back to you guys. It's no way else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. So, um, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm just lost for the thought. That screen just got me out of nowhere here. Yeah, I've, I picked up in something, but I don't know if I should tell them or not. Well, I'm, I'm kind of interested, not to interrupt you guys, but I'm, I kind of like, we've had different psychics in here over the past mm. years, of just like people that I've tattooed over the years, that mm. I don't even tell them anything, and they pick up on just crazy things that have happened in the shop. And uh, it's I'm kind of anxious to hear different things that you guys might be picking up. So we can't even have cameras in here because every time we have cameras in here, they digitally yeah. short out. Wow. Uh, that's wow. Interesting. That's interesting because he actually lost connection. Can I ask you something? What's, what's in your back? What's behind the shop? So that right behind the shop is just a part of the other business and then into a parking lot. What was in the parking lot? I have no idea, actually. Are you going to tell us what was in the parking lot? (laughs) I can sense something, but I'll tell you after after my my, my co-host here asks some questions. Okay. I need to think on it. Now, I'm a little bit more curious about what you were reading after that whole spiel before the freaking live started, man. Did you going to hold out on us like that? I know, I like to do that. I like to hold, you know, yeah, people. Was there, was there, is there a graveyard near, near where you are? A graveyard? Um, I don't know on that. I kind of want to say that there used to be a small little graveyard that was transferred and moved somewhere. Mm. But I'm not positive on that. There's something with your car park. There's got something to do with it. In the park? Like the park no, area? The, the car park. Oh, oh in the, okay. I, can, I don't know. It's just we can weird. have talks about some things happening yeah. back there. So. <laughs> yeah. So, Dakota? All right. So, when we had you guys on last, you shared a folder with us about some of your best material. You want to tell us about what's going on with some of these files? Yeah, absolutely. So are you guys able to share screens or anything and show mm-hmm. pictures and videos? Uh, yeah, so if you can uh, uh, pull up that file for us, we'll let you steer. Uh, try to Trying to get everything to work despite what my co-host seems to think. This is this is this is you need to buy a bit of internet. I I can't where I'm at, you idiot. This is I mean, I, if, if not, we can we, we can always share our screen. Yeah, we can pull it up. Yeah, on go, yeah go ahead, guys. Okay, it's not want to let me. Right. No. Sorry, it's sorry. Right. I don't, don't like the dead space. It's 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 quite funny because I seen something there, but it's your 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 um the guy that's the guy that's haunting your the guy that's haunting's um likes to pop his head through the wall quite a lot, doesn't he? And apparently he thinks we're funny because he was just laughing his ass off. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if that's the thing to do, if this is a good night, I'm all for it. Oh, yeah, no, he, 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 he popped his head out where the door is, where the door was. Then he popped his head out the other side. And then he popped his head out where the, where the gun is. I found that very humorous. So we used to get, like, as we were tattooing, we'd have a head pop around mm-hmm. the corner and look. <laughs> kind, of, kind of odd. Philip Richardy drink right there. It's no ham that's uh, that's caused it's the black mask by the way, it's no ham. That's something that's something else. So is it a black mask that's popping through the wall? 
No, you see how you said there was like a black figure? Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. no him. That's yeah, there's like an older gentleman before you like it started there. Yeah. yeah. Just um, what in the... Doesn't matter to me if you want to just start with uh, some of the... We'll start at the Guild House? Let's start. Yeah, we can do so, uh, guys... Uh, in this area, right, so Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, obviously very mm-hmm. rich history for steel workers. A lot of uh, individuals from around the world emigrated to this area uh, for, uh, you know, the, the, the guarantee of work. Yeah. Uh, this, this area was very big in the, uh, you know, early 1900s on uh, for uh, steel making, Carnegie Mellon, or Carnegie, Andrew Carnegie, uh, Henry, Henry Clay Frick, there's also obviously a huge, um, you know, history behind what makes Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. Um, so uh, a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of the areas and the, the haunted areas, haunted locations directly in the city of Pittsburgh, um, really, if, if they don't hold monetary value at this point, they're, they're being torn down and they're, they're creating other things on top of them. So all of the history of Pittsburgh is basically saying we're not allowed to right. do anything here. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so a lot of the places that we investigate are what we consider the tri-state area. So Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia is a very big hotbed. Obviously, there is mm-hmm. you know, uh, many waterways, uh, three rivers that uh, congregate in Pittsburgh, uh, directly in yeah. the center of Pittsburgh, the Allegheny, the Monongahela, and the Ohio River, all mm-hmm. uh, meet up in the center of Pittsburgh. Uh, so there is potential for paranormal activity to be driven by water flow, right? So that's energy uh, that's being created. Yes. Um, so what we're finding is a lot of the areas uh, that we investigate in Ohio, mostly. Um, so the first one we're going to show you guys tonight is in mm-hmm. the uh, the Gill House out in Ooh. in the uh, like we'll say central Pennsylvania. Um, so Derek, you want to take it on the history of the Gill House? Um, so there was a lot of actual historical figures that came through here. This area was actually a hub because of all the families that were interconnected. Um, a lot of the big cars back in the day, back in that time, those, uh, those industrialists were really all interconnected, intertwined. And they all met at this house and their families all knew each other. They were very close. Um, over time, they kind of moved away. They moved out to more of the larger cities, the larger areas, and left some of these larger mansions, like this Gill yeah. House, kind of just in disre- disrepair. Um, this house had gone through a few iterations. Um, if I'm correct, it was an apartment building. It was a. It ended up being like a, a mother-in-law suite at that point. Um, and then it just kind of started to... Nobody wanted, a, wanted anything to do with it, so... Yeah. Um, over time, there were deaths. In this room that we're going to show you, um, right. this was the one of the mother-in-law's rooms. I think they actually called it mother's room, right? Yeah, we, yes. we we affectionately referred to it during our time investigating there. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you guys. Yep, thing else. Um, the uh, this room we affectionately shared, or we affectionately called the the death room because this was. One place in the home where we for sure know that there was a death that took place in the room itself. Um, so if you guys can see my screen here. There we are. Okay, perfect. So um, this, uh, this, we have a, a thermal imaging camera that we use quite extensively uh, during our investigations. And... Uh, we were sitting in the middle of this room uh, that, like I said, we, we affectionately call the murder, the, the death room. Um, we were we were using our Phasma box, which is a, just an application on our laptop that essentially is a, uh, a digital version of a spirit box. Uh, so it takes all of the noise and the, the you know, the, the stuff you hear typically on ghost hunters and those kind of things, you know, the the thing that's cycling through mm-hmm. radio stations and it cleans it up, gets some of that white noise away. Uh, so that it allows whatever's speaking with us to be more clearly understood and come across in a, in a way that we can understand a little bit better. Uh, so we are um, using that spirit box and I'm talking with something and I'm talking to several different uh, entities. Um, 
three or four women's voices in different, uh, you know, different tonality to their voice and everything else. So you could tell that it was multiple people. And when these women would start talking, there was a, a dominant male voice that would continue to cut them off. They would, you know, they would start to, uh, they would start to chatter about something. And then this male voice would come across in a very booming voice and interrupt what they were saying. So I'm overwhelmed by all of this, and I said, you know, we only can talk to one person at one time. I really appreciate you wanting to speak with us, but please, mm-hmm. one person at a time. And I'm sitting there using the equipment at yeah, this point. Yeah, Derek's and... standing to my left. I'm sitting on the floor. He's holding the clear camera, which is our thermal imaging camera, uh, looking out this doorway that's coming into this room. And as soon as I said, like, one person... I hear this women, woman's voice come over that said, he's controlling. And then right after that, I look up to my left-hand side, and I see Derek standing there completely frozen, not moving. And Derek... And that doesn't happen. <laughs> Derek is the kind I'm of bait. guy... Derek's the guy that, you know, in horror movies will die first because he's not smart enough to not go in where the scary thing is. Uh, so, uh, when he's frozen in time like that, it's concerning. So Derek looks at me and he, you know, very coldly turns his phone mm-hmm. to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He says, what is this? And this is the video I'm going to show you guys. Um, so this is just a doorway, a thermal video of a doorway. Um, and I'll play it and then I'll see what you guys think. And then I'll let you know what we're looking at here. That's. <laughs> you can you can see the you guys. There's a there's a man there looking around the door. That's, yep. a, that's, that's exactly, exactly what that's we exactly saw. What it is. So uh, when he showed yeah. me this, I'm like, you know, I start freaking out. I'm like, Derek, what the hell did you just catch? You know. <laughs> Uh, you can see, uh, you know, obviously the first thing we want to do is debunk anything that is possibly something that we are manifesting mm-hmm. ourselves through the use of our equipment. Uh, so we want to point to the fact that Derek is not moving the camera side to side. He is staying very stationary with his camera with his focus on the doorway. Uh, so you can see that figure uh, poking it in, and I'll, I'll play Multiple it again times. for you while we play it. Um, so, yeah, you can see whatever whatever was that. We, we believe this is that dominant voice that was coming across on the spirit box or the phasma box. Yes. <laughs> That's quite... <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? Don't go up. What's your thoughts? Definitely something checking you out. Yeah, and and we had we gone, had that feeling too that somebody was just watching. Yeah, I mean, we we definitely had a feeling the entire time we were in this room that something was watching over us, and uh, we tried to debunk this numerous times. I mean, after I calmed down and was you know no longer excited about what we just captured. Uh, we did go back to this area and try to recreate this. Nothing, uh, nothing would do what we what we caught, captured in this video, and it did not come back. Um, there was nobody else there. We were all there were three of us at this point. Mm-hmm. We were all That's in that correct. room. That's correct. Um, this, this was definitely an interesting capture from our standpoint. That's, I I don't know what to make of that. That's just you can, it's it's weird because it's like looking round, checking you out, and then it's looking away. That's kind of how I mean, we that's... just just the just the angle of it almost looks like the head is just kind of poking in and then back out. And I'm sure you guys know how thermal works, right? I mean, obviously the darker oh, yeah. uh, the darker is the colder, right? So the the figure that is poking its head around the doorway is colder in comparison to the surrounding air uh, in that area. So uh, that was a bit, that was of note as well for this video. So it was a quick video, but it was an impactful That's... one. It's a little scary. <laughs> yes, it's, oh, oh that, that's, that is a good... That is a really good video. That is a really good video. Yeah. So we like that one. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, I like that one, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, there's, sometimes there is no explanation for it, which is... Uh, why we do what we do, right? I mean, there is, we could not, we could not 
uh, come up with a logical explanation of what that was. Well, you can do it because it, it, it doesn't have a body really, it's just it's its head popping around the door. That's yeah. all you see, is its head. You don't see a yeah. body, you don't see arms. No, you don't see nothing, you just see a head. I don't know, there's, yeah. there's just something about it. I just, it's, it looks like there's trying to be, be a little bit more of a manifestation, but that's the main central heat source. If that was someone standing there, it would be obviously be bright red. It'd be red, yeah. Red or yellow, I mean, at least the yellow. At color. least. Yeah, that's a, that is a good catch, guys. Good catch. So, uh, so one thing we wanted to uh, do with you guys was we would like to... Yeah. So we, we, what we did is we went through all of our, let's say, best best captures. Even... To preface and, it, even if we don't get through everything on the live show. Right. I mean, even if you yeah. guys could take a look at some of what we have yeah. in there. We definitely want your opinion on these things, uh, you know, because mm-hmm. uh, obviously we're biased, right? We, we captured it. We were there. <laughs> we, we saw things. So. And we, we had these personal experiences to right. just kind of pair up with it, you know. So, so, you know, John's sitting to my right, and he just said, like, that's great. That's, that's pretty <laughs> freaky, you yeah. know. And that, <laughs> but, that is unique. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a pretty cool one, huh? It's that is a really good. I must admit that's a really good one. That's one of the best thermal imaging captures I've seen for a long time. I mean, we mm-hmm. have still clears if you want to mm-hmm. stick stick with the thermals. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want, we can stay you with can the thermals. Kind of split through some of the pictures. Yeah, that's sure it just shows anything you want, really, doesn't it? Just, just hello. Uh, yeah. So this was uh, at Blennerhassett Island in Ohio. Again, it seems to be surrounded by the water. Uh, this this island was the home of a very wealthy family, uh, the Blennerhassets. Uh, you know, it's around the time of Aaron Burr. Uh, and when I say Aaron Burr and Alexander Hamilton, uh, this, this family was uh, personal friends with Aaron Burr. And when uh, Aaron Burr was headed west, when he was trying to conspire against the U.S. government and make his own country, uh, this was one of the stops along his way that, uh, you know, he ended up on this island for a while. Um, so we were uh, investigating this island. We had done three investigations there. This was a thermal that was caught um, in one of the rooms inside of the, inside of the mansion that's on the island. Uh, we were getting some activity on our K2 as well as our REM pod. In, within the room while we were uh, investigating. Uh, there is, um, I saw a full body apparition that we of course did not capture on camera, um, but I saw a full body apparition of a small child um, in the room that this is located. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, what we're looking at here on the left hand side, there is uh, a fireplace uh, that is not functioning, but it is just in the room. Uh, the right-hand side, that red spot, is a, a bed that is located in the room. Uh, and this is the area where I saw the um, manifestation of that child. Uh, this was not the exact moment that I saw that child, but it was in this area. This was another capture during that visit. Hmm. Very interesting, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm going to obviously point it out for those that can't see it. So we see a head there. Mm-hmm. We see the oh, you can see it. Yeah, oh, with, you can see that. Yeah, with oh, the, yeah. Full, the full figure. It and reminds you me of somebody standing there. <laughs> well, yeah. Standing there looking like, what the hell are you looking at? That's exactly <laughs> right. And, you know, obviously, uh, as you guys know with investigations, you know, our first, our first uh, duty is to rule out the obvious, to rule out, you know, just... Uh, you know, something in the environment that could be looking like a figure or something. This does not appear in any of the other captures that we have in that area. Uh, We take two to three pictures per location. If we see something, we'll immediately snap additional pictures. Uh, Unfortunately, we don't have them in the file with us to show you, but this does not... not, uh, Oh, Oh, come on. Uh, They are on our website. (laughs) Yeah, right. Uh, no, they're on our website, but uh, just for the sake of time, we did not include it in our package. But this this figure is no not in those pictures. Well, 
Yeah. And you're getting activity in the, the room you're in right now. We are. Yeah, across, actually across the room it's yeah. jumping right yeah, it has not been moving off. It's, we have a K2 yeah. meter across the room from us, and that has oh, not moved yeah. off the room. Yeah, I think, you've got a, I think you've got a couple of guests in with these, actually. I know it's a couple of people in the chat that are gifted yeah. as well. Oh, okay. as, yeah. well be, oh, we've been working we can, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's going crazy over there. That's That's fantastic. Okay. This is why I was trying to tell everybody we should get this damn show on the road. Really, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to happen for you guys. New. It's, I just find I just find it ridiculously funny the guy that keeps sticking his head through the American flag. But that's no, that's I don't think that's the black mass that's been seen. That's that's nothing to do with. Now, are you are you picking up on any of the black masses? Like, do you do you, as far as anything goes, like you're picking up on the older man. That we've actually mm-hmm. seen it here. I'm picking up. I'm, pick, I'm picking up. I'm picking up in the, the older male. That's he's quite funny. I must admit, he's got his wee bow tie and stuff. And I think he's he's a very friendly spirit. But there is another entity there, and I don't know what it is. It's like shielding itself. It's no one to tell me. But I think there's people in the chat that can. There's people in there. There's like nah. Uh, and she can see things. I think um, in paranormal world investigators, I think they're picking up on something darker, but I don't know what it is. Well, hopefully, the man is not too angry with us because we're going to spend some time here and turn the lights off. So hey, we're going to be angry with me. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be in his world. I think. I honestly think if you, if you ask the guy with the bebo tie and stuff. To do stuff they will do it for you. I honestly do think they will do it for you. Definitely got his curiosity. That's what I feel will do. He's very curious. He's very curious on your stuff that you've got son. Spectacular. He's, he's chilled out. Yeah. Excellent. It's the other ones that I'm picking up and they're like hiding from me for some weird reason. I don't know right. why. So you're picking up. What do you think? Oh yeah. Picking up in three. In particular, there's a couple of presents mm. there that are not exactly fond of mm. you guys talking to us in particular. Do the do Madison or the other one? Yeah, we'll do, we'll do Madison. Madison, I don't want to drag it on too much. Okay. okay, so um, we're going to pretend like there's not stuff happening around us <laughs> and uh, continue on. <laughs> if you uh, can hear me, throw something at their face. <laughs> <laughs> throw something at them. <laughs> uh, Man, so sticks his heat through the wall. Throw some in them. Throw some in them. <laughs> Knock his hat off. Come on. <laughs> we have families. <laughs> uh, so this this next location again in Ohio. They don't like to tear stuff down. Uh, this is yeah. this is uh, this is Madison Seminary uh, in Ohio. This we're gonna stay on the vein of the thermal images. So Derek, you wanna do the history on this guy? So Madison Seminary was it. it it was another one of those those buildings that had gone through a few different different changes. Um, they I don't like this comment. Well, um, <laughs> so they oh, they were cool. originally a seminary. They were they so basically they pulled in everybody from that local area, um, taught them, and then sent them back kind of on their way. Mm-hmm. Eventually, it became a psych ward like, um, with you know. All, closed off areas with areas that were basically for mentally in, exactly. unstable, um, just kind of locked them up and <laughs> hoped for the best. Uh, they had a yeah. lot of doctors that just didn't care. Uh, they would give them their medicine and just be on their way, kind of do the bare minimum, and that was that. Uh, there were a lot of deaths. Um, the Some of the areas did it just cut out. Yeah, yeah. It's something like this. Yeah, yeah. No, like, it yeah. the digital, the digital stuff always. Yeah. Uh, about to say, you know, first time we met these guys, I think it was Derek actually had wires. Yeah, you guys saw the wires. Uh huh. Yeah, he, he his uh, his power cord for his laptop actually like, sparked and caught on fire during first, our yeah. discussion. With that's you. weird. Yes, yeah, weird you should say that because I actually seen the photo tonight. Remember, you sent me a a, fo- a photo when that happened. Yes, of the yes. wire, actually. 
It was all melted. Yeah, maybe the wire like blew out. I mean, it was. Yeah. There's no explanation for I that. I think there is. I think there is something dark there, Louise. That's good. But no, that's good. there's a few people in the there's, there's a few people it's in the chat. Getting ready to get dark and dirty. Yeah. 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 It is He's not. It is not something that was purchased on eBay, which you can get. Uh, this was yeah. actually. This was actually from uh, a an, an individual that he used to work with. It was his her um, son that had this Dybbuk box in his room, and he tragically passed away at a young age. And she found this box while cleaning out his room after he had passed away. Uh, knew Derek was into some freaky stuff. Right. This, box, this box looked freaky, so he just, she just brought it in to see if he would want it. Uh, Derek at the time, unfortunately, was not aware of what a Divic box was. No, uh, I actually had to look it up. And yeah, he sent, he, sent, he, sent, he sent me a picture of it, and I'm like, Derek, do you know what the hell you have? And he said, no. I said, that is a Divic box, and you should not have that. Uh, so ever since then, he carries it around as a... Um, like, can, it's like a show and tell piece, but uh, it's possibly it's possible that something. You haven't opened it, have you? No, no, we have not. You haven't opened it, have you? No, we have no. not. And the uh, second one opened. I don't plan <laughs> on it anytime soon. Don't. That's wonderful. Um, okay, so um, so this this Madison Seminary, uh, this is uh, the yep. next thing I would like to show you. So this this. The large uh, mm. red and yellow figure on the right hand side, uh, that is <laughs> that is my back. Um, so that is me in this uh, picture. Yeah, look that yeah. um, I was interacting with a, a uh, an entity that was uh, was stating that he was a doctor and Derek captured this thermal the image behind me of uh, possibly uh, this entity that we were speaking with coming through on the thermal. That thermal there is quite interesting. I mean, there's you can see something there. I mean, what do you think of this one, Dakota? I mean, that's a little too actually... detail to be a reflection of something. To be honest, yeah, there was there was no uh, no mirrors uh, back there. Nothing that we have historically had uh, reflections come across on a thermal. Uh, there was nothing in that back area. That that wall that was behind us was probably, I would say, a good 10 to 15 feet away from where I'm standing. So I would not expect reflection on a thermal that far, but it's possible. How big, how big would you say that place was? How big would you say this place was you're in here? Uh, this was in Madison, Ohio. And this was in the surgeon's room. Right? Yeah, this was this was up on the, the fourth floor, which is uh, where they did... I believe they did do some lobotomies. Yeah, they did lobotomies and they did... Um, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, just, I'm going to say something here that I can't help say because it's something that's made me do that. Straight jacket. Yeah. Yep. Very possible. I was, I think I was seeing originally like a doctor... As a straight jacket. Blowing... But I can definitely see straight jackets. If you look at straight jacket. Straight jacket. Yeah. He's always hugging straight himself. Jacket. <laughs> He's just loving yes. life. Do you listen to me? Do you be jealous? <laughs> yeah, I thought about coming out here with one. Do you know that? Because if you look, there's no. It's, yeah, you, you did one after being on the show, guys. Eh. Do it. You, if you look, the arms, it's like a straight jacket. Like, it's, that's strange, that. It's, uh, he's got his hands behind his back, but, yeah. Yeah, sorry, my uh, colleagues over here are freaking out about the comments about the, la the black mask. Yeah, 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 yeah. To be fair, to be fair, we saw the comments about the shadow. We turned and looked oh, yeah. at each other and then looked at this K2... And it jumped to what, red? Yeah, it was to red. I mean, <laughs> as we turned around. This is the last time we do this in a haunted location. <laughs> Why? <laughs> 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 Old man that keeps sticking. 
They're sneaking up behind us. It's the old keeps sticking his head through the Take wall. I find funny. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Want to get into that's, the, uh, the latest video? That is an amazing table. Okay, so we're going to. Uh, do you want to do like the Gettysburg recording? For yeah, now? let's do. Let's go to the recording. Ooh, Gettysburg. We had some. Uh, we had a very good capture um, in Gettysburg. Uh, Derek was actually at this location with his father. So this was not an, an investigation. I was not present for it, so he can tell you what was going on in this before we play this audio. Yeah, so I. My dad and I took a trip just strictly to Gettysburg to kind of get away. He, like a day before we were leaving, he just said, hey, take some of your ghost stuff. So I brought minimal. I brought, take some ghost stuff. I brought a camera, a recorder, um, K2. And at night, we just kind of, we stood there. We didn't really say much. Neither of us talked much. You know, dance the talent. So I just recorded. I mean, I just let it play. And... We were out by the copse of trees where so many thousands of people lost their lives uh, at one of the last moments of Gettysburg. And we got nothing. We get back to the hotel, and I start – I just apply, I just try to put everything in. I'm, like, going to upload it. I'll be done with it, right? And I listen back to this one. And you can – it's it's almost clear as day. So we're going mean, to not tell you what it is. Yeah, listen to it first. This is what we like to tell – we like to let people listen to this before we tell them what they're listening for. Um, so we're going to play this, okay? Volume's up. Are you able to hear it, guys? Are you, I don't know if you can hear our I, screen or not. I, I can hear, like, horses, but I, it's not just that. I can hear, like, military... Oh, uh, is it? Hot yeah. Dakota's yeah. right Dakota's got it. So let me play that again. <laughs> that is. Oh, you just press play again. I tried. It's not doing it. No, oh, because I'm clicking over there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's just dual monitor stuff. <laughs> That's a march. Yes. Yeah, That's the, what do you call it, the, what do you call it, the pipes? The pipe, the pipe and drum. You, them the, the I, the, you would see in the American Revolution. Like a flute kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was a pretty good yes. cool like that. Yeah. That's what I can hear. I think I actually took a, a video of a computer screen yeah. and sent it to Dan when I heard that. Yeah, so Derek sent... I did not even know that That's... Derek was in Gettysburg that weekend, and he sent me that video. Uh, it was just a, a, a screen... Like, it was... He was filming his computer screen, and I'm like... I heard that, and I said, Derek, Derek has a two-year-old little girl, and I thought that that sound was a toy or something that was playing in the, uh, you know, in the dining room where he was sitting, and he said, no, dude, that's on the video. Like, that is coming across <laughs> as an EVP. Like, that was a pretty cool capture. We liked that one. Oh, yeah. Can you play it one more time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we heard nothing over there. Nothing in the field, nothing at all. I thought we got nothing. I was just going to upload everything and be done with it. And then yeah. that. That is a really good catch. Would you call it? That's that is impressive. I, that's, I, I mean, me know people that are into the Civil War stuff, and that's that's like that's just mind blowing. Got to get down to get getting hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. Now that, yeah. that we've had some really cool experiences. Yeah. We're going back. Yes. Yeah, we're going back in uh, March, and actually, John's going to go be going with yeah. us. So that'll be an interesting <laughs> experience. We're going to be. Uh, doing a bed and breakfast out there for an investigation and stay the weekend. So that'll be that'll be a lot of fun. 
That's I can't kind of get over that because I'm going to when I go to my bed tonight. If I ever get to my bed tonight, because I've got another show after <laughs> this, um, um, I'm going to be listening to that. I'm going to listen to that over and over again. I'm just going to go to that point and listen to it because that. Is I know. It's just, I, I'm, when they were, when first went to play it, I didn't hear it the second couple of times, but I thought I physically heard another voice saying Gettysburg, like there was somebody else trying to comment yeah. on what was going on. Oh really? Yeah. Is it before or after you can pick up on the flute and the drum and everything? It was just before I started picking up on the horses and the flutes. Okay, I'm going to play it again because I'm curious now. Right there. I didn't hear anything, did you? I did not. Okay, we'll have to, we'll have to go back with that offline and, uh, yeah, I'll tinker with the... you know, definitely uh, listen in on that. Good catch, though, Dakota. We'll, we'll take a look at that. There is, a, yeah, there is something that says Gettysburg. There is something. Oh, absolutely. Good catch, Getty, Dakota. Yeah, Getty, Gettysburg is a great location. We'd like to yeah. get back out that way shortly. Well, we will be, like you said. So All right. How much time do, you, do we have any idea of our uh, our time here? Uh, we're, oh, it's got a bit wow. Uh, if we go over, we're fine. <laughs> well, we're okay. that will be fine. Careful what you say. <laughs> well, let, let me... Let me Take this opportunity to show you the one that we just captured last weekend. Um, this location uh, is a brewery uh, that is about 45 minutes north of where we are currently sitting. Uh, maybe not quite, maybe half hour. But anyways, uh, it is the North Country Brewery uh, in a town called Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania. Um, Slippery Rock is a fa- it is named for the fact that the, there is a very large creek. It's called Slippery Rock Creek that runs yeah. through runs through that area. And uh, I have fished on that creek numerous times in my life, and I can honestly say that the rocks are very slippery. So I think that that's where the name comes from. <laughs> uh, yeah. So <laughs> I don't know if that's where it was named, what it was named from, or what. Um, but the history of it there. Uh, so this building was originally. It was just a, a family home residence, turned into a bed and breakfast, like an inn uh, back then for the for travelers that were kind of far enough away from any train stations or anything. They it ended up turning into a father and son run funeral home, which then turned into a furniture shop. All of this occurred during the time of the Civil War, so they just took you know advantage yeah. of the uh, their opportunities at hand and the, the you know the climate that they were in. Um, so they brought in obviously a lot of bodies. They did a lot of uh, more, they were morticians as well. So they kind of did everything in house. Um, after that, it was kind of passed down through the family, uh, generation to generation, yep. until uh, what was it? Two thousand, early two thousands when mm-hmm. this two thousand five, I want to say when a uh, husband wife duo bought the place. They renovated upstairs. They turned it into their living quarters. Uh, and they started to experience some things then. They turned it into a restaurant and brewery, which it is now. Um, and really employees that have worked there for a while, hell, the one that was with us, she was working there 10 months. Yeah. And she's experienced a lot of things. And she was one of our kind of tour guides through the place. Uh, but there was a lot that, uh, there's kind of a lot of passed down stories, even things all the way back to the funeral homes where the yeah. Uber brother had, uh, had, had claimed that there were some odd activities. But, the Uber brothers? Did they become, Uber. Did they become they a, not a, Uber. a ride-sharing <laughs> program? <laughs> uh, not the same with Uber brothers. Uh, real quick, before we get started, uh, I see in the chat three souls paranormal. Um, fantastic to meet another group from Pittsburgh. Uh, if you guys could uh, have any desire to reach us out to us on Instagram or Facebook, all, all Iron City Paranormal, uh, we would love to do some joint investigations with you guys uh, if you're interested. Um, so it's very nice to have some other Pittsburgh people on the on the podcast right now with us. I'll see if I find that. I'll see if I can find the YouTube channel. But I'm, I'm subscribed to the um, and I'll send it over to you in uh, Facebook, and then you'll be like, okay, excellent. Yeah, that's fantastic. So KT is going up. Okay, so this is the um, this is at the North Country Brewery, second floor uh, bar. We have uh, done one investigation yeah. uh, as of today uh, with where we are utilizing trail cams, uh, hunting trail cams instead of 
um, like hardwire. Yeah, instead of hardwire uh, surveillance cameras that require hours and hours of evidence review, uh, we tried to uh, employ the use of trail cams that trigger at 0.1 seconds of movement uh, to see if we can capture anything, you know, through that instead of setting up wires and everything else. Uh, and so it this, helps tremendously with review, review processes, which is exactly how we found this right. so quickly. So, th so this footage was captured, uh, and we'll talk about it after we show you. Okay, did you see anything? I seen the door close, and then in the far corner, where the guy standing with the pint of beer, I seen something going in. Yeah. So, so like it was starting to walk mm -hmm. in the room. Show them, like, with exactly. your mouse right here where so it's going to be. So this is the, the point of interest here, this door on the left-hand side. When this door opens, we want you to pay attention to the dark, uh, the negative space when that door opens, uh, and see what you see. on you. So interesting, right? It's only a 10 second clip, but there's a lot to digest there. Okay, well, you guys uh, <laughs> digest what you're looking at there. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, there's a figure Something. of some sort that walks through the doorway. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't uh, know if you want to go, it's, it's an honor. We can, yeah, I'll pull that up. So uh, one of the things, so I, when Derek sent me this footage, I pulled it up on my, on my TV at home, and I zoomed in on just that area uh, with that figure walking through the doorway. Um, that image or that figure that's going through the door is it is not solid in any way, and I think that you guys caught it at the very at the, on the very first playthrough that there is an individual that walks up the stairs on oh, the right hand side. Uh, that is somebody from that is a bartender from the bar uh, that is coming now, up. See if oh sorry. No, look at the detail. Yeah, you could. Yeah. And her versus mm -hmm. what the figure is. That's what we're I'm trying bad. to I'm bad at this. Yeah, that is... If you look carefully, you can uh, almost see her, the figure going through the door manifesting just before it goes through. That's exactly what you said. Well, and that's, that's exactly... So there's the individual right up the steps. You can see the level of detail that's on that individual. Um, but you're, you're exactly right to go to... Like, Derek, when he sent that to me, he said, look, something opens that door... Uh -huh. And I said, there's a figure there, but it's not opening the door, it's walking through that door. So it starts on the side mm -hmm. of the door that that camera is located. Uh, and knowing how these cameras work, um, to go from this area on the right-hand side where there's a staircase going down, to get from over there to over here would obviously take more than a tenth of a second uh, to get over there. So for a an individual to start behind that chair on the left-hand side, they would have had to be there the entire time that we had that yeah. camera set up. Uh, because if they came out of that door, we would have captured it when the door opened, or we would have captured it when they were walking across. So there is something that manifests right in front of that door and um, goes through the door. Uh, and you have to step up. Correct. In that door, you have to step up. And you can so see that it does. There's, no, there's absolutely no movement up and down with that figure. No, there is, though. It's going right through it. Watch. It's straight through it. It would have to go up if it was a person. That's kind of, that's that's yeah. my thought. Because that was part of the addition. That's, that's actually great. So interesting, huh? Huh. All right. Our latest. 
That's 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 that's, 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 that's an interesting one. I mean, that's. You be sure the I, I don't know if that is, but I can, I can see yeah, like a woman figure. I think it's a woman. Yeah, woman, very tall. Honestly, you, not paying yeah. attention to it manifesting at the beginning, it just looks like somebody wearing a hoodie walking through. But now, where you see that glimmer, where something's clearly coming out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And we, what we did was he took a screenshot of that, in, like of that, uh, whatever that was, walking through the door. Um, because I was trying to tell Derek, you know, like that doesn't, it doesn't look solid. So where is that, Derek? I don't know if that one's in there. Oh, That's on our social media. But, okay, so it's on our social media. I thought it was on here. Uh, we, like, when we zoom in on that, it is not, you can see through whatever that is. There is... It is not uh, a solid figure. It is a transparent figure in some way. It's, yeah, it's got that kind of that weird kind of effect, but it's like just see through. It's but no, too see through. It's more like kind of a smoky effect. Is you know what I'm trying to say? It's a, yeah, exactly. That's yeah, that, is, that is a good one. I must admit, that's a good one. Clear, clear. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. He's on it. Uh, so it's a little, a little small. Um, but this is the still shot of that. I can't zoom in. I don't know why I want to zoom. I can. The laptop. Apparently, yeah. Apparently, we can't zoom in. But that's that's the figure that walks through there on the right hand side. So you look at us. And there's no shape to it. I mean, that's that's. That's Training. a good catch. Yeah, I, I like that. No, oh, yeah. It's a shame we couldn't get the, the the guy that keeps thinking that he threw the wall behind the three of you guys. That would, that hey, would maybe, maybe we will, and you can have us on at some point in the future and we can talk about the guy <laughs> going through the wall. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We don't know. I mean, if we want to go through any pictures, I don't know how long we want to keep I them if they to. have another... We've got, we've got another 15 minutes or so if you want to... I mean, if you want to go through some pictures. Oh, okay, yeah. I'll go right ahead, guys. Okay, no, we just didn't want to be respectful of your time. Yeah, we got about two hours to, before we move on to our next little gig. So. I, was starting, I was starting with Anchor. Let's do this. So, so uh, this this is going to go back to that conversation of we didn't have the debunking pictures available uh, for that other one. Uh, this one we do. Uh, so uh, this was the 1810 Tavern. It is a local restaurant uh, in Bridgewater, Pennsylvania, uh, just uh, north of Pittsburgh. Um, mm-hmm. This 18 this this area again has have a, has a lot of history to it. But uh, there is a restaurant there where bartenders, waitresses alike, you know, patrons to the restaurant have had paranormal experiences uh, with. Uh, I'm sorry, we're, read, we're reading the chat. <laughs> Southern Stove Talk. Slave <laughs> Talk. Slave Talk, hiding in the basement. Okay, interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, this this area, again, so the, the paranormal experiences at this restaurant, we were invited in to try to put some credibility to the claims. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, Derek and I were uh, not having the best of luck. We were um, being very patient with the uh, restaurant workers and owner while they were closing up for the night. And, you know, they mm-hmm. were making noise, getting ready and cleaning up and everything else. And we, we were getting frustrated. We were getting, of- yeah, no, that's not, that's no joke. And we, so we were getting a little frustrated just by the amount of uh, noise that was taking place, which we understood, but it was also kind of driving us bonkers. Yeah. Uh, so we, oh, I see what you did. There. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so we were sitting upstairs on the second floor, uh, and Derek, I, we just needed to calm down. And I told Derek, like, let's just sit yeah. in the dark, be quiet. Let's let the things come to us. Uh, and no sooner, like, I think we, we just we kind of held Crystal and just yeah, almost we, meditated. Yeah, we kind of just <laughs> zoned into whatever was around us, and uh, I heard whispering coming from the attic. Uh, there was near mm-hmm. where we are, there's a doorway that goes up into the attic. Um, so I, of course, went over to the door, uh, looking up the door, up the stairwell. I snapped 
um, three pictures back to back with my cell phone. Uh, so this is going up in the attic, obviously, uh, very low ceilings up here, maybe four or five feet at the max. Yep. Uh, again, took a few pictures, did not see any. We have two back to back that look just like this one with nothing in them. Uh, and then between the second and third picture, I heard whispering that again took place and we snapped the third picture. Uh, Hello. Which was where we caught some mm-hmm. sort of. Just a form. Yeah, I mean, there's no... on the left hand side. Can you, like, arrow back? Think the core? That's quite intriguing, that. And it was... Yeah, so you, you, you can see there's nothing that's uh, you know, apparent in these pictures, but it's just, again, there's a, that, you know, wispy, almost apparition kind of thing on the left-hand side there. Did you hear that whistle? Like a whistle? Just a bit. Ten yeah, seconds well, ago. Yeah, that that just hurt my ear a little bit. <laughs> what was it? In the chat, did you hear that in the chat? It was a whistle. Somebody whistled. Like someone was going. Oh, no. yeah. Did you not hear the knock over there? Yeah, I did. Okay, you were talking, and we we're like. I, I we're trying, we're trying to, to like. Uh, I was like one of the. You're investigating. I'm. <laughs> Yeah, so we we heard some knocks on the windows uh, in here. Just I mean, that almost sounds like... Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, that's... that's Talk to us, you assholes. <laughs> come on. You national... Come on, you stop this. Don't come at my house. Go up to Coates House instead, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I already got a... No, you don't want to get across the Atlantic in a night like with us. <laughs> You can use yeah. StreamYard as a portal, go to his house, That's right. curl up next to him in the bed. Yeah, he can see you. Go to him. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah, I, mean, I don't think that's who made the noise. You can do both, because I believe one zoomed out and one's a zoomed in version. Like that's what we media. Oh, okay. So, yeah... Uh, as a investigative group, we are not in this to catch things. We don't make money on it. We pay a lot yeah. of money to go to these places. You know, we're we're in it for the cold hard facts. Um, so we capture everything we capture. We share on our social media, uh, Instagram, as we're going through the evidence. Uh, if if we catch things that we want some input from, you know, the greater public. Uh, we will post it on Instagram. So this is one of those pictures that we posted on Instagram of the Anchorage Mansion, uh, again, in Ohio. Uh, <laughs> this one's in Marietta, Ohio, uh, on the pretty much the most southern central part of Ohio you can get. Um, so this location was a mansion that was under construction for, what, 10 years? Uh, what year was this built there? I don't remember the year. A long time ago, they I, built this house. I know that they built it basically for the family's mother, for the for the, the man's wife, whatever, however you want to phrase that. Right. She lived in the house for maybe mm-hmm. six months until she died, so she waited over ten years to get this to live in this mansion, her dream house, and she died. Yeah. You know, without much time in it at all, and I believe her body was also displayed in the funeral parlor parlor that uh, that they had in most of these older mansions. You know. Um, they had two children and a lot of, uh, this actually, this area is actually one of the slave, not slave, um, uh, like the workers quarters basically where they housed there. And so we put this up on, on social media just to say, Mm -hmm. Hey, look where we are, one of our pictures. And we had some comments of people saying, Hey, uh, did you guys, did you guys zoom in? Did you look at this? What were you feeling in this picture? So we went back through and we looked again. So then we I did something. I was about to say, there's something in that middle window, too. Uh, <laughs> and, 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 uh, you know, it's like, look, there's even a hand right there. That's what I was going to say. Mm-hmm. So what we, based on some of the stories in the children there, what we were seeing was, was a child overlooking another child. Like, I, what I was seeing was two faces. Mm-hmm. Basically. Yeah, the old man, One here. Yeah, and one here, two faces, kind of one on top of the other, looking out 
trying to see what the hell we were doing outside. But that's up How for that, man? Okay. Yeah, because you can you can almost see I'm like in that top that. in that top figure you can see a face one, mm-hmm. uh, and possibly in the bottom one as well. So this and this uh, directly on the other side of this window is an area that we had numerous experiences with uh, with a, a spirit that they call Casanova. Uh, somebody that is not uh, he's not very. Oh, you go to a place for you to stay. <laughs> <laughs> He's not very popular with the, the ladies, I guess. Uh, but yeah, no, this was this was and this it was funny because Derek and I, uh, not even a couple weeks before this, were complaining because people have had so many experiences where they take pictures outside buildings and see things in the windows, and we were complaining that we never get things in windows, uh, and then all of a sudden we this started we've done yeah. this, then we got this one. We haven't gotten many since this one, but. Uh, in the windows. We've got a few, especially yeah. Evan City. Yeah. Yeah, so this one was interesting. So what do you guys think about that is, this? I think there's definitely two faces there. I don't know. I, just, I don't know that if there's a third. I don't know what it is. It's just... It's, it's go, to the, uh, go to that original on the zoom way, zoom down one. So you don't think that's just us looking for something? You might you think your, your opinion is there's actually no, something. No, yes. When you yeah. wrote that up, I seen it straight away. Yeah, the first time you wrote it. Validation that we like the like. Yeah, we need. We're this. not. <laughs> yeah, this we're is. not just looking. We're not seeing things just because we want to. No, I saw that right as you brought up that photo and brought yeah. up the enhancement one. It almost looks like there's a third figure behind him. I can show the other Blunderhassel ones that yes. you know, we're gone. Let's show them that. Which one? Um, Picture. Blunderhassel. No circle. Blunder, no circle. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Blunderhassel Island, uh, we had mentioned it earlier mm-hmm. with the, yeah. um, the, the ties to Aaron Damn. Burr. Uh, that island, there were... Care. Um, countless Native Americans that were uh, brutally murdered on the island. Well, not murdered, but killed in battle on the island. Um, one of uh, the more prominent names in Native American history in this area uh, is Chief Nemecolin. Uh He was, in real life, he was close to seven feet tall. Very large, um, you know, prominent individual. Uh, his burial... Uh, location is somewhere on this island. We do not have confirmation where it is, but there is there is uh, signage and things uh, to say that Chief Nemecolin is buried on this island. Um, because of the Native American deaths that took place, uh, they there is there is story that. M- the Native Americans leave these entities behind, these spiritual entities mm-hmm. called watchers, and they are yes. pr- protecting the spirits or, of the island and the people that have lost their live, lives on the island. Uh, so we, the first, first, we've investigated this location three times, uh, four times, excuse me. Uh, you know, they had told us that you could see these watchers or these large figures walking between trees. You know, people have, you know, many people have seen shadows walking between the trees. Uh, Derek and I were out in the middle of the island probably about 2 o'clock in the morning. It was just him and I. Most of the people had gone. It's a public investigation that we, we, were, we, in, that we were part of, and you we were camping on the island. Yeah. Uh, and it was in the fall, so there was a lot of leaves falling off the trees on the ground dry. Uh, Derek and I had heard crunching in the leaves like somebody was walking, you know, maybe like 50 yards away from us. And they have horses that they bring over to the island at the beginning of the summer and they leave them on the island all summer. And they they have tours, uh, you know, where they they pull carriages around the island for tours and different things. Uh, so when we heard this crunching through the leaves, these horses started freaking out. You know, they're in the field mm-hmm. screaming making all this noise, Good. and Derek just turned to the left and took a photo uh, of a the bunch, trees, a bunch the of them. Um, so 
this is the photo that he took. Uh, you know, after Anchorage, in, I started zooming yeah, in on every picture. That yeah, we got. <laughs> so we... Uh, first of all, do you guys see anything in this picture? No. Not really. I see something in the centre, but I, I can't quite make it out. There's something by the, the tree yeah. next to the road, but I can't quite make it out. It needs to be zoomed in. This tree here? No. So this yeah, is, I see this it. Is, ah, it's like somebody walking. It's like somebody walking. Yeah, so if I, I, I can't zoom in any more than that, but there is two eyes. Yeah. The figure has a, a <laughs> gaping maw, like his mouth is wide open. Very. We figure this is yeah. most likely about seven to eight feet tall. Easily. You know, with the legs sticking out. Um, yeah, this, this is what um, we have been told by... Yeah, we we've been Unless told it's too by. Different. There you go. No, I was gonna say we we have been told by the, the there's a, um, a paranormal group out of Marietta that that uh, they're called Hidden Marietta is their name. A uh, great group of individuals that we've worked with numerous mm-hmm. times. Um, they have said that uh, this fits exactly what they have seen that people have been unable to capture for many years. And I believe um, they took it to their historical society to correct. kind of show them, you know, what they have interpreted it as, and you can now see it. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, we do believe this is a Native American watcher that is keeping peace on the island, taking care of, uh, you know, their dead. Good. I've, I've zoomed in quite a bit. There's actually another face to the left-hand side of it. Is there really? Okay, where at? Can you see? Yeah. See, there's the... I don't know if it's an orb or something moving, oh, but... Sure. I, I, yeah, I, 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 is that... Like, no, go up. I will be closer to the tree. That way. <laughs> no, the other way. <laughs> you see, you can't show it. See, right? There's like a light bat, but there's like a light orb. See the red bat, Dakota? Yeah. Can you see the red line running down the screen? It's like a, there's something like moving a really quickly. Oh, right here. Yeah, there's that. And right, if you go up to the top, to the left, you'll see something looking. It's got a kind of face to you. Yeah, there. Okay. Yeah, see, see, just down from it, see, just down from it again, you'll, there's another face and it's got a beard. Go down from it. Move across. Left. Yep, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Go up. Up the way. Keep going up. Right, see it there? Yeah, there. Yeah, see, see the face? See the face? It's like a. It's like, oh, it's like one of the. What do you call them? You get them in woods. They're, um, they're like. They're spirits. What do you call them? They're like ancient spirits. They're like a wood elf or something like that, they're called. It's got like a beard. Oh, it's. Uh, you see what I'm trying to say? It's got a beard, you can see it's got a beard, it's got a nose, it's got a mouth, it's got a gnome almost. Yeah, like a fairy gnome kind of thing. Elemental. Elemental. Elemental, okay, thank you. Yeah, elemental. That's interesting. It's got, it's got like a, it looks like Gandalf, right? It's got, it's got like a beard. Yeah, it does, you can see it's got a beard. A mouth, it's got a mouth, it's got eyes, and it's got a nose. Can you see that, Dakota? And spirit life is coming up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's been going off. Mine's been going off, too. Yeah. It's something that happens whenever, yeah. whenever we're with you guys. <laughs> yeah. I, I think there's three there. Maybe four. Oh, my God. Crazy. That's fantastic. It's it's been been it's it's quite interesting that because I can see three, maybe even more four entities there. There's one walking at the bottom because you can see its legs. It's, it's, it's just strolling. There's mm-hmm. one right where you're you're, you're no, no 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 no. See see where the, see where the main image is, the main picture that's on the tree at the very top. See that yeah that that that's like someone striding. See how they're walking. They're like striding, walking. Mm-hmm. Then there's the image above it, a entity, and then to the left, there, 
weird left or right, I don't know. But um, there's two other entities there. I can see it. I can see them as clear as clear as day. Interesting. Yeah. Are you, are you having a lot of are you having stuff happen right now? We are, and that's why I, I just went over. We moved our. Um, we have uh, a new device that we've investigated with a few times. It's called a spirit light. That is. Yeah. Uh, uh, something we found at a convention. Uh, that uh, is not a, it's not like a REM pod where it's proximity based where if you get close to it it'll light up this one's purely based off energy and that one's freaking out so I took it over and moved it by the door excuse Wait, me the, the door to the I'm rest I'm not alone in that room we are I'm not, not definitely not room. In this room. <laughs> that's good because that'll make you sleep better at night <laughs> All right, which one you want to do? You can do Evan City since that was another, that was a residence that we were asked to to look at. We didn't, this wasn't even, uh, this was walking by. (laughs) This is taking a look at. Yeah, so we we were asked to go to an apartment, uh, again, a little bit north of where we're sitting right now, that is uh, an individual that we have uh, investigated her apartment uh, and actually, she used to have an apartment with Derek's sister, uh, Kara. Uh, her former roommate, Rachel, uh, now lives in this apartment with her boyfriend. And we were asked to come there because they had uh, encounters with a large black figure that was uh, numerous times uh, when they would wake up in the middle of the night, it would be standing in the doorway of their bedroom watching them. Uh, so Derek and I, uh, in due fashion, uh, went to get chicken wings before we did the investigation. Uh, when we, we were coming back, yeah. When when Derek when we were coming back, Derek was snapping pictures. So this uh, lit up window up here is uh, yes. the apartment that we investigated. Um, this is a quilt shop that is down below, and we took this picture and I zoomed in one next. saw this um, very <laughs> odd. Uh, Michael face Myers. Michael Myers looking thing down in this window mm-hmm. right here. Mm-hmm. I see it. I see it. I zoomed up in it when you just brought it up. Oh dear. See that? I see Dakota's turning his head like a dog. <laughs> dog they it's, can't understand what I'm you're gonna, saying. I'm going to zoom up in this even more. I'm going to zoom up in it even more because I can do it. I can zoom up in this mind. It's like... What is that? That's... Again, that, again that, that looks like a skull. Do you know that? And it's looking down the way, like that. And it's got its hair. <coughs> and it's, you can actually see... Wait, I'll take a picture and I'll show you. I've zoomed right up. It looks uh, like a sentimental yeah, ass old lady. In a quilt shop. <laughs> it could very well be. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell are you looking at? Who invited you? Multitasking here. I'll send that. Don't burn out. The next picture cover. It is the zoomed in. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can zoom. Okay. So I've sent. I've sent. I've I've sent you that picture just to know there, guys. Um, you should you should find it in Messenger actually. Dakota, you'll see it too. But you, it's uh, you can actually see its roy teeth. Did you send that? Believe it or not. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna load it to the file real quick so we can show it on the screen. Yeah, this is a little bit zoomed in. See this again? This is freaky as anything, guys. But I'm on right into that stuff. You can see, you can see it's 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 it's, it's not looking out towards you. It's looking like sideways, and you can see it's like your lower jaw, and you can see a row of teeth. Well, the gaps in between them. Again, you know, old lady. Seeing an old lady. I think it's an old lady. I think it's something else. You think everything is something else? <laughs> there he is up close. There, that's from the, that's from uh, Chris. See, yeah. See, see if you zoom up in that now, yeah. Something knocking in. Was that? Or was that a car? Oh, it wasn't a car. There wasn't anything good. Yeah. Sorry, we're hearing some stuff outside. <laughs> I don't think that was even outside. No, I, I don't think, think it was. 
I think it's like come out to play. I think it's something really about you guys because I can hear whistling. That's good. Oh, that's good. My wife just texted yeah, me saying that our connection is really screwed up too. Yeah, that's what it is. Everyone's going, it's blurring out. Yeah. Can't see your faces. Yeah. Really? Yeah, all three of our faces are blurry. Oh, this will be interesting. I think he's looking for a treat tonight. Similar looking face. The next trivia, the next one. Again, we, uh, we 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 like to have you know outside opinions on these because we want yeah. to see things, right? I mean, we we're the ones putting the effort into it. We want to see things, so it helps having people like yourselves and everybody on the chat looking at these kinds of things to tell us if we're just being crazy. <laughs> I, I like that comment. Or that if, <laughs> you know, or if there's actually something <laughs> oh, there. Michael. Very much. It very. It really is. That's what I first thing I thought was son of a gun. It's like Halloween yeah. all over. Did you just bump that? I didn't want to. That was not, you. That I was thought you not did. me. That was not me. I swear <laughs> to God. My, my feet are right underneath, and it felt like something touched it. Now, if I move my foot all the ways up, I can move it. I'm kind of interested. Yeah. <laughs> we have some stuff moving in here. Right now. Oh, yeah. You've got some people moving behind you, too. <laughs> no, that's great. You're always behind us, right? Ooh. Okay. So, is that, so is that? This, is, this is an Ohio State Reformatory. Uh, which is known for the location that uh, filmed the fil- uh, filmed the movie uh, Shawshank Redemption. I was about to say. Yeah, this is the uh, location where that was filmed. Um, so this is uh, in one of the rooms that they use, almost like a chapel. almost like a chapel or something. Uh, when we initially took the picture, uh, we thought exactly what paranormal world investigators yeah. just commented in the comments section. We saw these two yellow lo- eyes over here, so. right? Uh, I do. I see the thing in the window. We do yeah. So originally we thought <laughs> this, uh, which are these two no, yellow no, no, lines. Uh, these. This is not this. what we were looking at. Looking thing uh, window, though. Those are actually uh, lights. There is a functioning prison uh, directly behind this location. Uh, those are lights mm-hmm. from that prison. Um, I think what you're picking up on, Chris, is what we actually wanted to look at on this one. Uh, yeah. Which is it. God, you can actually see his bones, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this picture here. Look this guy up here. Look so that, does, that. that doesn't look friendly, right? And it look, I was... Like, it does, it? <laughs> this was early on in the time that we investigated locations. Uh, pretty creepy. We don't like this one. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, right now. Is it, I mean, you can actually see is is as if it is like someone's just hung up a skeleton in the window. Exactly. Yeah. You can actually make out certain bones. Yeah. Happy as you can see it. It's happy as you can see it's fine. Okay. For those of you listening to the audio version of this podcast, please do let us know if you hear anything. <laughs> oh, don't worry, we'll be uh, watching yes. this back and. But if you get any movement in your house, it's not our fault. <laughs> <laughs> We're not the ones doing the dirty in the dark. Wait a sec. <laughs> yeah. So, we had also started doing some pendulum activity. Um, we didn't do it too too much before a few of these locations, but. As we, because we, we well, we didn't have one, and so Dan had actually. I don't have a steady hand. If you can, you can probably see it on the screen. I always shoot, so I can't do this. Did, yeah. did you just do that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I so, had to look three times too. Uh, that was me. <laughs> that. that was me. So we had begun to do some of this pendulum, some of these pendulum experiments, and we we attempt we attempt to try to stop and let them start again. Um, long story short, we were in the mm-hmm. Twin City Opera House in the basement where there's supposed to be something dark, something evil, uh, and we did have something thrown at us. But as we got to this point, we began to put pieces together that it was somebody trying to get our attention and not harm us. 
So here we yeah. do believe that we encountered a young child who was speaking with us. Um, she liked to toy with the flashlights. This was actually one of those moments where it was like an aha moment. This is working because there was a flashlight on one side of the room. We were sitting in the center of it. And then there was a flashlight on the opposite side of the room. Uh, the first flashlight turned on. We asked if they could turn it off and go to the opposite side of the room. Just like that, it had happened. The first flashlight turned off. Uh, a few seconds later, the other flashlight turned on. So we get into this moment of the pendulum activity, and we were communicating pretty well. Uh, we had a lot of yes-no responses. And I got the SLS camera and just started to shoot. Just anything, everything. And you can see the yellow was Dan as he was doing the pendulum. You can see kind of the way that his hands are uh, holding the pendulum. Now, there were there were two of these, these pictures of the SLS where it, it maps Dan pretty clearly sitting in the chair. And as the mm-hmm. pendulum is moving, you can see between this picture and this picture that figure moves. As the figure moves, the pendulum had also moved. So the SLS is... Um, definitely seem to pick up something there. And you can see the pink is definitely not a person. There's nobody sitting there. Uh, You could see what color the person would be. So those two two photos of the SLS uh, were pretty intriguing to us in that spot. I don't know if if you guys have have messed with SLS cameras too much or what you would think. We were kind of afraid of... I don't know if there was a lot of um, debunking that we had to do at first because I think the very first time we used it was at mm-hmm. the uh, high school. Where that was the first place we had things happen with it. We've used well, it but we had the first debunk it where it would map a chair. Yeah, you know, it would show a person sitting in a chair where it was just mapping a chair. So we had to be very careful when and where we used oh, yeah. it. You know, um, but I think that we had a lot here. And we've got kind of got better at the SLS, but this was this was one of our better SLS moments where you could actually see it moving as it went. <laughs> Holy shit! Not NW. We're picking up on three at the moment. Yeah. Older the dark end. I've got some. I have something to tell you, but I'll wait till after the show. Okay. Something Is it gonna, about that. Just come across. Is it going to make us like want to stay here, or are we going to want to leave? Depends. Depends. On who <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's strong enough to move that flag behind, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> that looks pretty yeah. heavy. It does. Yeah, that's 600 it's pounds. 600 pounds. Oh, 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 yeah. It's nice it's knowing you. We'll put a nice little memorial for you. On the <laughs> yeah. No, I believe, I believe there's, I believe there's a name. There's, I believe there's four or maybe three entities there. Right. One of them's pretty heavy. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, as soon as he goes to tell us who it is, it breaks up. Uh huh. That's interesting. Yeah, we're getting some very odd uh, disturbances in the field whenever you start talking about picking somebody up in here. Yeah, I, I know it does. I'll tell you. I'll tell you after we've seen this video. Yeah. I don't know what else you want to show. If you want to show the video of the eyes at the anchorage, I have that in there. Um, That'll be back and forth. Sure, and we have lots of stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's fine. I mean, there's the Beaver SLS and that we were just talking about with the drums. Oh, yeah. Where's that? Guy? Under B. Oh, so um, this instant is where we had the debunk. Uh, yeah. Or we tried to debunk yeah. the chair figure sitting so to my right. Me. So again, that is me in the chair. Derek is usually behind the cameras. Uh, at first, we thought this was trying. This was just taking the shape of that chair and mapping it, which it does do. So you have to be careful. I went over and I sat next to this um, this child that was sitting there. We were getting uh, things on our on our, um, our phasma box that was uh, sounded like young young mm-hmm. children uh, communicating with us. This was at a high school in the um, <coughs> stage area uh, where a lot of music, you know, band and things are played. Uh, so in this chair, there was a child uh, that was not killed in the school, but was actually killed on the train tracks right outside of the school. 
uh, probably about uh, <laughs> 20 to 30 years ago, there was a, uh, a, a small child that got hit by a train and killed. Uh, so we were – don't scare them. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> No, you we're, we're, <laughs> I, mean, I, I just saw that fan spinning. He, yeah, he said he saw the Yeah, fans. we're dumb, so like we'll stick around. John might not, but we'll stick around. Uh, we yeah, we were in there. So I went over and sat on this chair, and we don't have the video of it, but one of the ways we debunk is we try to get that figure to move. If it's not, if it's just mapping it's the chair, it's yeah. you know, just stationary, it's not going to move. Um, this child or figure that was sitting in this chair, uh, when I went over to it, I was, I slid, at one point I slid my chair closer to it, uh, and it reached over and it touched my leg, which I did feel, I, I can't see this, mm-hmm. um, so De- going off of Derek's, um, you yeah. know, direction on what's interacting with me, um, but I did feel something touching my leg, and it actually laid its head on my shoulder, um, so it came off of that chair and like, right. you know, kind of used me as a pillow, more or less. Which, you're a good pillow. I'm a good pillow. <laughs> I, I'm built for being a pillow. So that works really well. Mm-hmm. But that's, that Absolutely. was one of the first spots we got a lot of activity on the SLS. Yeah. All right, do you have anything else you want to show? I mean, we if you want time to... For one more, we get time for one more picture to go on before we... Do the anchor. That screenshot there of what we were looking at. Okay, uh, we'll leave you guys with this one. This is the very first ever video we captured of something. Uh, Anchorage Mansion, again, where we caught those two figures in the doorway. Uh, we were in the attic uh, in with this area where the children of the house uh, used to play up in the attic of the, of the home. And we had one of the individuals um, from Hidden Marietta, the group in Ohio, with us. Uh, she was She's mm-hmm. a sensitive... Uh, and she can, you know, tell us where spirits are and different things. Um, so she was telling us that we're sitting in a circle, and she said, you know, I feel three individuals here. There is um, the children are standing over behind this other person that was with us, uh, Gabe. They said there's, the children are standing behind Gabe, and they're standing there. They're very afraid, and they're kind of like standing there with their heads behind their hands. Uh, then she said there is an individual standing in the room behind me at the time. Uh, there was a, a male figure that was just kind of watching us, what we were doing. Uh, and then she said there is something in this corner behind me. And she said, I don't know what it is, but there's something over here. So I took the camera that I was holding with my thermal image, or not the thermal, just an IR camera, and panned over to my left. And you can see... Uh, it's a long it's a, video. I, I noted it's it on there. Is it live up here with us? What time? Um, That's a diva. There was a time stamp, I believe, I had in it. What is it? So this is what, like, this is the room she said there was a male standing in this room. The children were standing behind this gentleman sitting here. There's a month behind him. And I'm at 401. 401. So we're going to jump to four minutes. This is her saying that she sees people behind people here. And that's Gabe. He gave a very good rendition of uh, Wheels on the Butts. Bus with uh, Wheels on the Butts. Wheels on the Butts. With heavy, heavy uh, Pittsburghese accent. Okay, so here's here's why I look left. She said there was something else in this corner. I sat on grandma's chair. So you can figure it out. I have not told anybody what I'm seeing on the camera yet. And you can kind of see everybody already looking in that direction. She's looking at Yen. Yeah. Our, our, one of our first reactions to this is maybe it's a bat. So mm-hmm. naturally, since I hate bats, they sent me over there to look for a bat. Uh, there was nothing there. Uh, there's a window to the left of that entire area, but there's nothing over in that spot. You don't have to be scared. Yeah, I don't 
I think I think there's two sets of eyes there. One's taller than the other. And that that uh, those eyes or whatever those are uh, looking at us, those stay there until Derek. Until I, at some point, I tell Derek that I see something. I still haven't told anybody that I have something on the camera. Uh, so at some point, I asked Derek to come look at the camera while I'm filming. Is there anything in that corner that would be reflective? Because <laughs> I see two. What is this? So we took is that entire. Down in Hill, <laughs> this is where Derek. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even hesitate. <laughs> Oh my god, no, I don't know, it's been that ever since she said she felt something in that corner. Yeah. But that's why I was here making sure it wasn't something reflective. Now there's, no, there's only one, but there were two eyes. No, you're fine, you're fine. Seriously. There were two of them just before you came over. It looked like two eyes over there. It could be. Because like I said, it was there for two of them for quite some time. I was watching. And she's kind of moving. What do you think about this, Dakota? What's your thoughts? You can come forward. Oh, see, right there. There's the second one. There's four. Right. And you'll be able to see shortly. Derek, Derek walks Looks like there around the corner. with a flashlight, and around you can that. see there's just boxes and things over there. I, oh. we, we could not find anything that was reflective, but it's very possible that it was. Uh, I'm jump ahead here. Let's get that. Yeah, I think <laughs> There goes Derek. Yeah. Are there any holes over there? Because they're right on it. They're yeah. covering it, yeah. so it has to be it's the windows. There's, out. A light, there's a light outside that window. Can I shake this? Yeah. Now, move away from the window, Derek. That's. I mean, if they'd been bats, you'd have seen them when you walked in there. The yeah, and Derek, Derek is like a little girl. Derek is terrified of bats. Mm-hmm. That's no. one of my favorite things when we're investigating a place well, that bats. No, that was the window, the black figure, though. Yeah. Just the window. And I thought maybe it was too, like a light out there. Because there's an orange light. I just wonder if it's picking up the orange light. Oh, wait. You're trying to get yeah, you're trying to get a flashlight on something. Oh, uh, that's the doorknob you mm-hmm. can see. No, it's not there anymore. Maybe. Yeah, no, it's not there anymore. This side of the right there. That side of the column is where those... Mm-hmm. Turn your light off. Then. <laughs> yeah, so this is this is coming in from that window. Oh. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> There's a little bit of a something. jump scare at the end there. I think there's an orange light out there. But it should still be picking it up, though. Yeah, so it's just, the rest of it is just us trying to find out what the hell's going on. Mm-hmm. That was interesting. I'm going to watch that back tonight. <laughs> yeah, so you have Which access to quit. Yeah. There was more than one, easily. Oh, yeah. I, th- I thought for a second there was one, one quite low down and there was one higher up. Because one of the... It's as if one of them blinked. And when they blinked, you see the bottom ones. When they blink, you see the top ones. It was weird that it's just... It's been a good show tonight, hasn't it? It's been um, really, really, really good. I think you guys are in for a treat tonight in your investigation. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I'm <laughs> the really looking forward to getting yeah. into it. Yeah, the, the people in the chat are quite gifted. Some of them, in, um, well, ninety percent of them are gifted, and I think they seem quite a lot of a newer background, you know. Um, but I, 
I'll tell after after the quote ends the show his wee trailer thing he's got and then well um, so I would like to thank Iron City Paranormal for coming on guys Absolutely. and we'll hope you come enough. back again guys absolutely yeah I hope you'll come back with evidence for me to your end as long as we survive we'll catch the night. <laughs> <laughs> we'll I'm guaranteed it so yeah, I think you're, you're you're guaranteed Awesome. Yeah. I mean, we want to we want to thank John from uh, After Hours as well for having us out here because, uh, like I said, we were this is a this is a we like to do these ones that are personal to us, uh, you know, with somebody having some experiences. Yeah. Uh, so we want to thank him as well. Yeah. And if anyone's in the Pittsburgh area, stop by After Hours. He's great at tattoos. He's, he did all <laughs> my work, so he does some good stuff. There you go. The quarter we need. We'll need <laughs> yes. we'll to get matching tattoos. That's my plan. <laughs> yeah, maybe we don't know. Our wives would not like it, but we might not. We might. Uh, <laughs> do you think you should? you should? You should. You should. A couple on your forehead, you'd be fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, Dakota, do do your magic, Dakota. Do your magic, my oh, friend. Well, this was an excellent show. You guys are more than welcome to come back yeah. on. And for those of you who are more interested to see the Bald and Bonkers, we are going to be on with UFO Man later tonight, yes. talking about Good some well. of our own little projects there. Yeah. Definitely going to be an interesting night. So, be safe, stay I'm weird. Stay safe, Dad.